Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, this version of these Mercedes were really Mercedes, Mercedes then. They're, first off, they were very expensive. You know, these cars uh, in the 90s listed for, and I put that on here, uh, almost uh, $70,000. So uh, when you think about that in the, in the early 90s, $70,000, we're in 2011 right now. Uh, you know, these are cars that are well over $100,000 uh, if you're compared dollars to dollars. So uh, you talk about like heavy, powerful, um, safe, a lot of great features on them, things like that. These are the kind of cars they talk about when they talk about buying a Mercedes. You know, maybe today's Mercedes has some technology, but I'm not sure that they were built with the same kind of, same kind of uh, sturdiness and, uh, and safety that they were back then. Uh, we have both sets of wheels and tires with the car. Uh, it comes with a standard uh, aluminum wheels with a nice set of Michelins that came on, which is a good indication of what kind of car you're getting. You know, if this is, uh, if this is your baby, you're going to buy the best tires that you can for the car. You're not going to buy the cheapest tires uh, that are out there, set of hand kooks or whatever. Um, so, for instance, like you're not going to overpay for them, but this car came with Michelins all the way around. This was a good indication of what kind of car we were getting. But we found these uh, and uh, added them. And I just think the white wheels changes the whole look of the whole car and kind of modernizes and updates it a little bit. Now these are 17 inch tires uh, and wheels here. And uh, they're kind of color matched to the car and I think they look really nice. If you don't love them, uh, I'll keep them and I'll put the other wheels and tires back on for you. So either way, whatever, whatever look you're looking for, uh, we can find that for you. The nice looking two-tone here. And this is kind of cool too because it's white here. It's really a light gray here. And it's got a light gray interior too to match it. All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a second. Even little stuff like this, like when that, that latch went back in, you know, it just thunk, sounds really great. Okay, here's a good indication of what kind of car you're getting. For instance, this right here is the trim tag with the options on it. Original stickers are still in place. If the car had been crashed uh, really hard, um, then they would have to replace this piece here. And this piece is still intact and still in the same place. Uh, engine compartment is pretty nice and clean and detailed. And uh, when I say that to you, what's nice about it is that means somebody has been taking care of this car for a while. This is not a high mileage car, uh, but everything's in good shape. All the parts are shiny. Uh, all the stickers and decals and things can still be red everywhere. And this is really, you know, when you talk about engines, this 3.2 liter engine has been around for a long time. Very powerful. Um, and there's talks of, you know, three and 400,000 miles uh, out of these engines. So I don't know that you'll get it out of this, but uh, you know, they've always talked about uh, uh, how long these cars go, and that's kind of what you're paying for when you bought one, is the longevity. You know, you only had to buy one car. Electric fans to make some room in here for the engine. And this engine's uh, a kind of shoehorned in here from the factory, and there's not a lot of extra room in there, but they give you a nice big aluminum radiator, the electric fans to keep it cool, the horns. It's a good packaging job in here. Okay, so we're talking circa 1993. You know, uh, these cars had, um, let's take a peek in the trunk for a second. You know, these cars had a lot of safety features as well as uh, luxury features. And when we get inside, we can talk about a little bit more of that. All right, even for a convertible, this has a nice size trunk. You can go ahead and uh, get soft luggage and throw it in here. It even has the emergency kit still inside the car, right over here, which is kind of cool. All intact, the factory kit still in here, the first aid kit. That's the kind of car you should be looking for. Things that uh, say, hey, I've been taking care of this car. I haven't been passed through uh, 15 different owners and things like that. So uh, I like that. I like the detail of the trunk. Somebody's cared about the car. And that's the kind of car you would be getting in this instance here. OK, you know, third brake light. Uh, OK, so let's talk about uh, the interior. Because for me, you know, interiors can say a lot about a car. All right? Like, for instance, a key and buzzer still works. This is 69,000 original miles. This car has been driven in the 3,000 mile a year range, which is, uh, which is really, really low mileage. It's all stock inside except for an upgraded uh, sound system with uh, an iPod adapter. The car has power windows, has power seats on both sides. Also has, uh, for instance, uh, rollover protection. Let me just turn the key on, there we go. Okay, and what you would do is you would, if the car was to tilt at all, uh, to protect the passengers in the rear, these right here would pop up instantly. Some people like to ride around with these. And look how much safer that car is. Inside it is steel roll hoops, just like a, a coupe might have in it. 
climate control, heating and air conditioning, great gauges. Now listen, they knew that their cars were powerful and fast, 160 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM deck, and a full array of gauges. It's not just a luxury car, it's a driving car too, uh, for somebody. Airbags, both sides, uh, anti-lock brakes, traction control, rollover protection, a lot, a lot of safety features for 1993. And this car is selling for, right here, less than $17,000 with uh, in a 16,000 mile range. It's actually an incredible, incredible bargain. So how about I start it for you? Just, uh, you know, normally we rev up a lot of our cars because they're really loud. In this case here, uh, this car is really quiet. So it's actually just as good to hear it run. So let me start it up. With the fuel injection and everything, fires right up. Smooth as silk, like you can't, like look, the car is running. It's so smooth in here. Really nice. You know, in closing up this car here, we talked about a lot of the great features. We talked about the luxury features, the safety features, and I really don't need to say much more about it other than it's a great looking car. It's an awesome, awesome amount of fun to have for not a ridiculous amount of money when today's uh, probably least expensive Mercedes convertible starts at, at the sixty or $70,000 range. This car here priced under $20,000 or under $17,000 for that matter uh, is a great buy. So anyway, if you can find a way to get this in your life, call us 301-816-1000. We'll do whatever we can to help you.